Boom. The fact of what he's doing. What he oh, doing? No. I don't like. I don't, I don't. I don't like. Oh, no. I don't like the critiquing of our restaurants and and having people and and and, and talking bad about our goddamn businesses and oh, like no. you know oh, how no. hard you know how yeah. hard it is I get it. Oh, for no. us to oh, even no. get in the food industry and to have our own restaurant and so. Oh, like, no. What are we doing? Don't ask me. Don't ask me to come it? to your house and then ask me what I think about it without giving me asking me to give you my honest opinion. Nobody. Asked. About, Nobody asked for that. Also, Nobody asked that. A lot of these people listen. A lot of these. A lot of these restaurants do DM him, ask him to come, but he wants to go on. A lot of times he wants to go on and out and give people. That's what he is. He's a food critic. He's turned himself into a food critic. It's okay. Are we turning something? It's okay. Resume. Yeah. What are the qualifi- What are What are the qualifications of being a food critic? Go to a restaurant and do you like the food? Did you like the customer service? What was it like? Yes. What was the wait time like? That's all you got to do. How about go do that at Maestro's? Go do that shit at Chris Ruth. Go do it at Poppy Steak. Go do it at fucking Zuma. Go do it at goddamn whatever the fucking rest of them goddamn five star restaurants okay. that everybody. Go do it at that. Name one of the restaurants you go to in LA. Name one. Where you and Selena Gomez went? Where y'all went? What's the name of the restaurant y'all went to? I don't forgot now. You know. I, you know. I, I, I honestly forgot because go, I had go, I had never I have never been there before. Go do it at day restaurants and give them the bad press and the bad all the bad. Ocho. 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 Because you're black doesn't mean you're above criticism. I'm not saying critique. you're above anything, but go go do it there. It's it's hard enough for us as it is. Now here you go. <laughs> Man, so in other words, so if he got bad service, problem, he's supposed to bro. just let that slide. Service wasn't bad. Service wasn't bad. Oh. Service because it wasn't. It wasn't. I, I ain't never had bad service. Yeah. And even, if, even if the service was bad, they might be having a bad day because some of the goddamn idiots they don't have to deal with. Oh, oh, what oh, the oh, fuck oh, they oh, got oh, to do? Boy, you better stop it. What the fuck that they got to do with me, Ocho Cinco? Because you having a goddamn bad day. You are customer service that means that you have to serve the customer if i come into your establishment i ain't causing you no goddamn trouble bro why are you bringing that heat my way why are you bringing that heat my way look the reason why this guy is going to critique these restaurants because he's trying to put them on he's trying to let people know about these black establishments and if y'all gonna treat this man like this or anybody who come and eat at these places that way then i'm gonna critique this shit the way i see it I was there. Ocho, you not there. What the fuck you got to say about food anyway for Ocho? Your ass ate McDonald's every goddamn day when you played football. You don't give a fuck. Then you go sit there talk about critiquing Groot Chris and all these other five-star restaurants. Bitch, them places have been critiqued already. They've already been critiqued. Now it's time for these black establishments to get critiqued so they can get put on the board. Look, half these motherfucking places, that, not even half, all of these places that Keith Lee has went to and ate and did a critique on. I ain't never heard of them. I didn't know that Candy Candy Burris had a goddamn restaurant. I had no idea. You know how I found out? Because of Keith Lee motherfucking ass. So Ocho Cinco, please stop. Y'all stop trying to take this shit as a, a, a knock against black people and what, what they do. Because honestly, we're trying to help you motherfuckers. Y'all can't take criticism. Black people cannot take criticism no matter how the fuck it comes always got some shit to say but if somebody is willing to sit down and talk to you about some shit that you got going on you should listen you should because that's one person that's able to stand up for themselves and speak out and be direct everybody else gonna do your ass like this they're gonna come to your shit they're gonna get shitty ass service the food might be great but the service is fucked up you know what's gonna happen they not gonna come to your shit again and it's not the same as going to a chick-fil-a right it's not the same because I can go to this Chick-fil-A and get shitty service. I won't go there no more. I'll just go to the next Chick-fil-A. How many fucking restaurants does Candy Burris have? Probably only got one. So she needs to make sure that one is correct before she opens up another one. Because if she don't and shitty service is here, it's going to be shitty service over there too. So Ocho, please, you got to understand this shit is not a knock against black people. It is a knock against the motherfuckers that they hiring up in there, how they behave. That's all it is, bro. Chill out.